As we age, following a well-planned resistance training program composed of the right exercises becomes more and more crucial. Not only will it help us look and feel better, but it will also enhance our overall well-being, increase bone density, and promote a more robust metabolism. Done incorrectly, however, and you could end up smaller, weaker, and in more pain. In this video, I'm going to share the only six barbell exercises you need to build muscle, improve strength, and enhance your overall physical performance. By focusing on these key movements, we'll target multiple muscle groups simultaneously, ensuring a balanced and efficient workout without having to spend hours in the gym. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Exercise number one, barbell back squat. One study published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health showed that quadricep size and squat strength are strongly correlated. In other words, the bigger the squat, the bigger your quads. Not only that, but barbell squats elicit extremely high muscle activity in all of the main lower body muscles, from the quads and hamstrings to the glutes and even calves. In fact, one 2020 study comparing back squats and hip thrusts found that squats not only produce greater growth in the quads, but they were superior for glute growth as well. The problem, however, is 90% of gym goers fail to squat low enough to maximize lower body growth. One 2019 study published in the European Journal of Sports Science analyzed three different squat variants, full squats, parallel squats, and half squats. The group who squatted with a full range of motion experienced the greatest increases in strength and performance. Individuals who squatted to parallel experienced the second best results, and half squats resulted in no performance increases but did increase pain and stiffness. Bottom line, using a full range of motion while maintaining proper form will get you the best results. Exercise number two, Romanian deadlift. Research shows that when it comes to building bigger hamstrings, RDLs elicit near maximal hamstring activation. Often confused with conventional deadlifts, the RDL is purely a hip hinge movement and offers a safer alternative for those concerned with potential injury. The hip hinge pattern is a staple in daily life and mastering this pattern is crucial for preventing chronic discomfort, lower back tightness, and reduced mobility. To perform this exercise correctly, walk up to the bar and stand with your midfoot underneath it, feet shoulder width apart, and toes pointed forward. Grab the bar at shoulder width with a double overhand grip and deadlift the bar into a standing position. From there, soften your knees to begin your descent. Instead of bending forward, push your hips back until the barbell is 6 to 8 inches above the ground. Then, push your hips forward and squeeze your glutes to return to an upright position. Make sure your back remains flat or in a neutral position through the entirety of the lift, as failing to do so can result in sensations of discomfort in the lower back. According to one study published in the Journal of Physical Therapy Science, keeping your hips high and your knees straighter will activate more of the hamstrings, while bending the knees activates more of the glutes. So, depending on the muscle group you want to focus on, you can opt for a straighter or more bent knee position. Another 2017 study found that bracing your core during the RDL enhances glute and hamstring activation by increasing stability of the lumbopelvic muscles ensuring both strength and protection of your spine. Exercise number 3 flat bench press. The flat barbell bench press is a fundamental exercise that targets the entire chest musculature. In fact, when compared to decline and incline presses, this study from the European Journal of Sports Science supports that the horizontal bench press leads to better overall chest activation. Research has also consistently shown a strong correlation between bench press strength and chest size. In other words, the stronger your 
bench press, the bigger your chest, at least to a degree. While mainly a chest focused movement, it also targets the triceps and the anterior delts, making it a great upper body builder. As far as grip width is concerned, studies have shown that a medium grip allows for higher loads and more controlled reps. A wider grip, on the other hand, can reduce triceps activity, which might not be ideal if your goal is to increase bench press strength. Conversely, a narrow grip may increase triceps involvement, but might lead to lower anterior deltoid activity. Exercise number four, seated overhead press. Anytime we press a weight over our head vertically, we're targeting the front and mid delts as well as the upper chest. As you can see in this study, comparing different overhead press variations, the standing versions have greater stability requirements than their seated counterparts, making seated variations a better alternative as it relates to muscle growth. You see, to produce high levels of mechanical tension, you need maximal motor unit recruitment. And this is affected by the stability requirements of your chosen exercise. Utilizing a bench provides stability that will lead to maximal motor unit recruitment, resulting in a greater muscle growth stimulus. One study published in the Journal of Anatomy regarding the shoulder muscles moment arms showed that the anterior delts have the best leverage at 120 degrees of shoulder flexion, while the clavicular head of the pecs gain leverage a bit lower. Thus, if you want to hit both the upper chest and the deltoid muscles, train in a full range of of motion where you're bringing the bar down to your clavicle and pressing up from there. Exercise number five, bent over row. The bent over row is an exercise renowned for its ability to activate the lats as well as promote overall back development. According to this study from the Journal of Electromyography and Kinesiology, your lats are more active at lower shoulder elevation angles, meaning below shoulder height. And given the bent over position and the line of travel of the bar, pulling with the bar in front of your torso will target the lats more than the other back muscles. This research from the Journal of Anatomy indicates that the lats shoulder extension moment arms peak between 25 and 55 degrees of shoulder elevation. So if the goal is maximal lat engagement, here's what I recommend. Position your torso 20 to 30 degrees above parallel. Take a grip slightly narrower than shoulder width to keep your upper arms close to your body as you row. Remember, the closer your arms are to your torso, the more you'll activate the lats, while flaring your elbows will involve more of the upper back musculature. From there, pull the bar somewhere between your belly button and chest and row only until your upper arms are in line with your torso. Exercise number six, Kelso Shrugs. One such exercise that targets the rhomboids and traps exceptionally well is the barbell Kelso Shrug. To perform this exercise effectively, position your bench at a high incline, just enough to support your torso with a slight forward lean. With an underhand shoulder width apart grip, grab the barbell and lift it by pinching your shoulder blades down and back as intensely as possible. As you shrug up, try externally rotating your arms to break the bar, bringing the shoulder blades closer together. From there, reach for the floor, allowing your upper back to round until you feel a stretch in your mid and upper back and repeat. Keep in mind, this exercise can be done without the support of a bench, but this variation facilitates more effective scapular protraction and retraction since the chest support stops your torso from bending down with the weight. So there you have it. The only six barbell exercises you need to build muscle, gain strength, and improve overall performance. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. If you're looking for a complete done for you training and nutrition guide guaranteed to add slabs of muscle to your frame in the next 90 days, then claim your free copy of my book, Bulk Up Fast. The book has already been paid for. All you have to do is cover the small shipping fee. Just click the link in the description, tell me where to ship it, and I'll send it to you anywhere in the world. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one.
Peace.